everybody, Sarcasm here. Welcome to another episode of Feet the Be- Whoa, <laughs> it's kind of weird when you look up against the ceiling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome back. That is the wrong button. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast. In the last episode, we finally got the crystallizer all powered and done. Uh, I made a couple of extra water tanks, as you can kind of see on my mini-map. Uh, I also, behind the scenes, I went and dug up some sand and some dirt. I actually got a little, a little more sand than that. I just kind of went over to the oasis. You can see it's missing a lot of sand now down there. Yeah. Um... But we're ready to uh, get some more bog earth on the go. So one thing I want to grab is the hopper, and you'll see why. Let's get up top. Oh, I want to turn this back on. There we go. Pumping away once more. Now let's go up here. Okay, first thing we need to do is got us a crafting table to set down. Now, as, <laughs> as you can see, I've added some more some more water tanks, but I've got all the water I need here. Remember, a thousand units is uh, one cell or one bucket. So I'm going to put my stack of cells here, and it's just going to give me the stack of water cells that I need. <clears throat> so fairly quickly. <laughs> Got all these different solar things. <laughs> uh, looks pretty nice. Alright, here we go. Got a stack of water cells, which is what we want. Come over to our crafting table. Put that in the middle. Put in our dirt. And our sand. And I probably put that in wrong because I always do. Yep, I did. <laughs> I always put it in wrong, and there we go. Now, this is a stack of everything. This gets us eight stacks of bog earth, and as you recall, this can only hold four stacks. So that's why I have grabbed the trusty hopper here to put on top and add some additional stacks. Now, you just saw the problem with doing this. You just saw how the dirt that this is producing as waste was instantly being output. Oh, wow, got a bunch of peat all of a sudden was instantly being output to the top of the hopper. That's because these forestry machines will detect an adjacent inventory and will start putting uh, start putting the dirt and, or if I put it here, would even start putting the peat into it. Um, even though I have this chest here, I don't know why it thinks to put the dirt up here first. Not Really, I, I don't think it should output to the top, personally. Uh, that's my opinion. I, th I think I think the top should always be an input. <laughs> um, so, the fix that get in the door, the fix that I have for this that I've employed in the past is uh, kind of getting back to the buildcraft roots. Let's type in ye old search box. What I want is here an advanced wooden transport pipe. So we just need some wood gears. Pretty easy to make. We're also going to need a redstone engine, and might as well have this this lever here. Uh, sticks. Can I've got some leftover wood in here. <laughs> there we go. There's our sticks. Let's make the gears. Now let's get out the glass. Glass. One piece of glass. All you need. And there is our advanced wooden transport pipe, which I only need one of. Now, let's go back. So what I'll do is put this wooden pipe against the hopper and power it with the wood engine. The, uh, <laughs> the wood engine, I guess that's an accurate description. Power it with the redstone engine uh, and then set the advanced wood pipe specifically to pull out dirt. So we'll put this here. You'll notice it's immediately uh, it's pulling from the wrong side, so we need to turn it with our wrench here. You see it's got a stack of dirt in there. It's not what we want. Let's get a dirt out, open this up. These items are required. Yes, I want it to put out dirt. Put that there, and our lever. Turn it on. And now this will begin to pull dirt out of the hopper, so that'll keep 
keep the dirt out of the hopper, putting it into the chest as it's supposed to be. So that'll keep the, the peat bog running for a little bit. Now while that's going, I, I think what I want to do this episode is set up kind of a little mini quarry. Oh yeah, I put little tiki lights out here. <laughs> Kinda. See if it would help. Uh, uh, I kind of want to do a little mini quarry, and I want to do it about in this vicinity, where where this is, because I hear things on the other side of this wall. I definitely hear things, as if as if I could dig here and find a cavern. It's really dark here. So what I want to do is right here in this vicinity, which, let's look at my coordinates here, plus 344, plus 313 and 314. I have to remember that. Eat some bread. I noticed after I made this bread, I actually have some beef and some pork chops that I could cook, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and cook the beef now. <laughs> I'll come back for that. Let's get, uh, we're going to utilize a lot of those chests, <laughs> but let's get just, uh, just a little quarry. Let's get a quarry out. Here we go. And what I'm going to use to power the quarry, since I don't have combustion engines set up at the moment, I think I'm going to make one or two, oh, I had wood gears. <laughs> I think I'm going to make one or two uh, magmatic engines, because, I mean, those put out four jewels apiece. Oops, and I think that would do us just fine. So probably two of these. We need some Invar gears, a piston, some more Invar, redstone transmission coil, which is silver. How much redstone do we have? <laughs> Not much at all, but we do have plenty of Invar. That is tin. I need silver. And I need pistons. Do I have any spare? Uh, I have these sticky pistons, which I wish you could turn back into normal pistons. I wonder if you can. That makes a block four block breakers, whatever that does. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Electric item clearer. Crop harvester. I don't even want to know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, needless to say, we're going to need to make a, a couple of pistons. Uh, plus, this will be good. I'm going to save everything, since we don't have any recyclers. Uh, get us a nice supply of cobble for building. So, and wood. Going to need two pistons. Going to need the coils. Two of these. And we're going to need four Invar gears. There we go. So let's put our gears down, put our pistons, our coils, and the Invar itself. And there's our two magmatic engines. Let's get the liquid ducts, if I have any left. Uh, I have three. Not enough. And I don't think I have any hardened glass left either. Uh... I only have one obsidian. That's okay. We can sort that out. Let's uh, get some water. We can just make a few obsidian blocks. There we go. And where'd that one go? Okay. Obsidian. bunch of lead I didn't really do anything with. I think I can actually do this with lead dust. There we go. So we'll do that there. Slag. Slag is really worthless. I'll put it in this chest, I guess. Oh, we're going to need a redstone torch as well. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. There's four hardened glass. 
Yep, four hardened glass. Liquid ducts is copper, so let's get our copper out. There we go. Kappa. All right, we got our liquid ducts. So let's head top side. Oh, did I get the quarry? I did. Uh, well, okay, hold on. Jumping ahead. Uh, obviously, we're going to need chests to store everything in, so we've got all these, and we're going to need pipes to put them in. Now, I have got quite a few buildcraft pipes, which is probably what I'm going to use. Uh, I have cobblestone transport, stone transport, I have a diamond pipe, uh, wood, wooden conduct. See, none of these pipes are really what I need. What I need is an insertion pipe. Now you remember this purple one here. This was this was the insertion pipe that was in Tekkit, and you use uh, two iron gears to get you the insertion pipe. What the insertion pipe does is it tries to put the item into the inventory it's con connected to. If it cannot, instead of just spewing out onto the floor, it will proceed to the next attached pipe if there is one. So this is this is good for just connecting it to a line of chests. It'll try to stick it into the first chest it comes to. If it can't, it'll move on to the next one and the next one, the next one. So it's very handy. However, pricey. Uh, four, two iron gears get you eight pipes. Now you notice I've got two insertion pipes. I've got two different pipe mods installed. Uh, one is additional buildcraft objects. The other is additional pipes. Uh, I don't remember which one's which. I think this one is from additional pipes. But this one, from additional Billcraft objects, uh, you just take a simple cobblestone transport pipe, combine it with redstone, and that gives you the it, their version of the insertion pipe. So it's cheaper on the iron, more on the redstone. Uh, I'm shaking my foot again. So let's see what we got. We have five cobblestone pipe. Uh, so we could combine that there with five redstone at the very least. Where's our redstone? See, we're really short on redstone though. That's what I'm worried about. We're short on redstone and we do seem to have a decent supply of iron. I may end up just making the iron ones. Uh, oh, is my beef finished? <laughs> Let's think here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, let's go ahead and make what we've got. There we go. Five there. Actually, I think that'll be enough anyway. Uh, next thing I really need is some gold pipes and some iron pipes, believe it or not. Uh, glass, yes. Did I have any iron pipe? No, I turned them all waterproof, didn't I? Amateur mistake. Okay. Need iron. Eight iron. That actually might be enough. All right. Let's uh, get to sleep in the bed. Let's refresher here. Oh yeah, definitely something on the other side of that wall. Three forty-four and three thirteen. Okay. So let's head up. Actually, let's sleep. Take a drink. Starting to feel a little bit better. I know I've been sick the past couple episodes. Alright. Hut, hut, hut. Let's head up top here. Now, what was it? 344, 313? So what, right here? I think this was this was the way. This was it here. That's three forty five. So three forty four, three thirteen. Yeah, it was about in this this vicinity. So, one, two, three, four, five. So I think I want to place the quarry. Here. 
Uh, oh, new. No, that will get part of the backyard. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get some of this out of the way. Okay. Let's give this another go. Um, two, three, four, five. I guess there. Yeah. How's that look? Perfect. Doesn't get the backyard this time. Uh, torch. Torch. And three... I think we're good. I don't think it'll hit anything. But I could be wrong. Let's, let's just double check here. Three... see this is 345. 309 to 319. Oops. Go have a look, see. See, 345 is here. So this is where the line will be. To 305. Ah, it could release this lava. Uh, I think we're good. Okay, I think we're good. It could release that lava, but we can fix that <laughs> if need be. Hood. All right, let's get back up here. Let's get the engines situated. So what we'll do is just have an engine on either side. Pretty standard. We'll go ahead and activate them. Put there we go. Go ahead and activate them. Now the liquid ducts. Okay, <laughs> trying to figure out what was going on there. Uh, ooh, I don't think this is going to be enough. Let's just go over as far as we can. Ooh, don't touch the tank. Okay. Uh, Okay. Yep, that's not enough. That's not enough. I'll be right back. Gonna make more obsidian. Okay, I should probably point out before I make a bunch of obsidian, much like these, much like the water tanks, how you can stick a stack of cells and it'll make water, with the railcraft tank, I can do the same thing over here with the lava and just make a bunch of lava cells. So I'm going to make a stack of each, use, put those together to make 32 pieces of obsidian, and that should give me a stack of hardened glass, and that should tie me over for a little bit. I'll get that cooked, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, got plenty of liquid ducts now. Let's go finish this off here. Hoot, hoot. Get it all hooked up go almost oh no Ugh. a little bit more Oop, one more there we go and down okay it's all hooked up now let's get the chests put in 
the chest to put in. Oh, did I not make the gold? Dang it. I didn't make the gold pipe. Gotta make the gold pipe. Now, gold pipe has changed in Feed the Beast. Uh, I know, I, I think I had mentioned it in Feed the Beast. Feed the Beast is just a pack. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, Billcraft is the mod. Uh, the, this latest version of Billcraft has, uh, oh yeah, I put, I put doors here, <laughs> just in case. The latest version of Billcraft has changed gold pipes a little bit. So, let me get a piece of, let me get some now. Uh, whereas in Tekkit, what you had, what you did, was you would place a gold pipe and then you would power it with redstone. And that would act as a booster track. It would cause the items going through it to speed up. Uh, in this latest version of Billcraft, that is no longer true. You no longer have to power the pipe, but you do need more than one. And the more gold pipes in succession, the faster your item will, will travel. So what I'm going to do is... <laughs> ghost torch? I'm going to hit these torches to death and light up this area down here just a tad. <laughs> Uh, basically, I'm going to put my gold pipe there. I'm going to go this direction, come over, come over, and go down. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a chest, a chest, a chest, because we have five insertion pipes, so we can put down... Uh, oops, five, is that five? One, two, three, four, five, and then a final chest at the end of the chain, like so, and let's put chest there, there, uh, oh, need some blocks, <laughs> crap, Okay, put one there. Some of these chests are just going to be floating. <laughs> uh, I have to, I have to pretty this up a little, a little later. <laughs> chest, and over here, whoop, fell in a hole. Over here, chest. Yes, chest. Uh, oh, and here, chest. Okay, so now we'll lay down the insertion pipes. Oops. I will put one here, 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 and here. And in order to help prevent double double insertion, I almost said, I'm going to use these one-way pipes. So that way, once it once it fails it will just simply go forward. Uh, and last but not least, I need a couple more gold ones. Uh, so gold, gold, gold. Ah, uh, we're one gold short. How did we do this? Hmm. Uh, it may not even, well, nah, we'll just put a, we'll put an iron one there, and our last gold one over here. Now let's take our wrench, make sure they are all facing the correct direction, there we go. So basically, what will happen is the items will go into the first two chests up here. Once they become full, they will pass on to the next two next to, next to, next to, all the way to the final chest. Um, it, this small of a quarry will not fill up these chests. It might do the first four, maybe even the first six, but uh, I think, I think we'll be good. <laughs> so let's go ahead, activate the lava, and we'll just watch this baby go. Boom. Bring on the lava. Here it comes. 
And the engines have started, and they're off. Oh, look how fast it is. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to see, we'll, we'll finally uncover that cavern that I've been hearing the zombies and skeletons in. And, hopefully, we will get a glimpse of some diamonds down in the bottom. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, very nice. What has happened? Oh, no. I did not... There. <laughs> I messed up that pipe. So let's pick that up. <laughs> there we go. Let's see, yep, everything is going there. Oh, I think, yeah, every once in a while it's, it's splitting into the two chests. I messed up that one-way pipe there. <laughs> so yeah, that'll... I think that'll be good. Nice. Hopefully we'll get something out of it. We'll, at the very least, we'll get some building materials, which we are a little low on. So I think it's been pretty productive. Next time on Feed the Beast, while this while we're waiting for this quarry to dig, I think it's time we re-enter the Twilight Forest and explore that Meath maze and see what kind of goodies we can loot. Uh, I do know one thing I'm going to do real quick in preparation for that is I'm going to leave my longfall boots here and take my original steel ones back because just in case I die, I don't want to lose the good boots. And we're going to be in a maze, so I'm not really going to need them. Oh, I can hear it. It's getting close. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to just see it start digging away, and then we can look down. I'm a little concerned about this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll... Uh, We'll check on its progress before we head into the Twilight Forest. Uh, let's put the junk up. But yeah, I think, uh, I think it'll be good. So, I've been Sarcasm, I'll see you guys next time.